Love Monster by Rachel Bright This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking, to say the least. He lives in a world of cute fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster. Oh, poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well... A bit down in the dumps, but not being the mopping's around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who would love him just the way he was. He looked high, he looked low, he looked middle-aged, tumbleweed, he looked inside. And out. More than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, he would found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. Look at all the list of places to look. High? No. Low? No. Middle-ish? No. Inside? No. Outside? No. Elsewhere? Nope. Uh-oh. And then it didn't go well some more. It rained and everything got wet. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his ump, decided it was time to give up and go home with a bus to Kidsville. But in a blink of a googly eye, Oh, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. The end.